Hey guys, uh, welcome to the Free Skate. I am solo today. Um, Jesse decided, uh, really, he didn't watch much of the competition, actually, so um, he's just sitting this one out. Uh, so you're going to have to be bored with me right now. Uh, I'm just going to go through a few things. I don't think there was too much in this competition to talk about, uh, but one of the main ones was uh, Anna Sherbakova. So, you know what, it's really nice to see somebody young, again, coming through the... Uh, Russian factory of skaters here that's coming up with um, not necessarily the quads, but she has the triple axel. And it's a very, very, very good triple axel. I think it's one of the best triple axels, I think, in skating, period. And so that's including men as well. Um, she ended up with 226, nothing to scoff about that. First place in the both the free program and the short program. Um, and her PCS kind of held her up there. Uh, you know what? Her PCS was better than her country mates, uh, Takamasheva. And um, I think that's going to serve her well. Uh, this I cannot wait to watch Russian nationals. I can't believe there's going to be so many good Russian uh, skaters coming from nationals out of, out of Russia. Like, we're surprised they're going to be good out of Russia. But it's just insane. They could have their own world championships and uh, get, like, millions of people watching on TV because they're all so good. Um, another one, uh, Young Yu from Korea, seventh in the short program, fourth in the free skate. So that was a big jump for her. Uh, good for her for doing that. And you know who I actually really like too, and I think she's undermarked a little bit is Amber Glenn from the United States. She's a really pretty skater. I think she has really nice jumps. Um, I think she's got a really well choreographed program to suit her. Um, I wouldn't say she's the top, top tier of the transitions in the skating like um, like some of the other skaters, but I do think that she should have had maybe a little more than what she get here. Uh, 178. She was third, actually, after the short program, and she was sixth in the, in the free skate. Um, so I just want to go into the judges' scores a little bit for Sherbakova here. Okay, so Anna Sherbakova did have two quads in her long program. Now, one was under-rotated, the uh, quad lutz, and the other one, quad lutz, was called for an unclear edge. But she still scored uh, pretty good on it. She still got twelve over 12 points for both of those elements, so that was pretty good. Um... She also has clearly trouble um, with the LUTs. Every one of her LUTs has had an unclear edge. So she's kind of like what Medvedev used to be um, before she fixed her edges. Um, she ended up having 67.82 for PCS, 84.71 for uh, TES uh, um, in the free skate. Uh, I think that's pretty fair. Uh, maybe I would have had her a little bit higher than Takuma Sheba for, um, for her PCS. Takuma Sheba had 66.5, so she was like two points higher. I think maybe she should have been around 69, 70, maybe. Uh, but you know what? Um, it's going to be a really good Russian national championships coming up for that country with the women. Crazy good. Uh, let's move on to um, the men. So big news for china coming at home there uh gold and silver hello uh boyang jin won his first gold medal of the season and man did he need that he wasn't perfect uh but it's a good confidence booster for him uh han yan actually beat him in the short program and han is such a good skater too han reminds me kind of like a patrick chan a little bit um his pcs is really high up there he's a gorgeous skater and he's got really really nice jumps um i'm gonna have to wait for him a little bit to start putting in the quads again i feel uh but he is going to give boeing jin a run for his money for the chinese championships um but it was big for boyang to come out and do what he did because uh he's had a really rough year and so you know he got 260 something uh that's respectable um i'm sure he's gonna want to get that up towards of 280 um to compete with han yu and chen i mean to compete with han yu and chen realistically i think you have to be over 300 but i mean he's i think he's gonna want to start putting at least getting consistently 280s across the board uh, to really gain that confidence. Um, 
And third place was the Italian, uh, Matteo Rizzo. Good for him um, getting that bronze medal. Uh, really nice skater. Uh, he's got really nice jumps. Again, he wasn't perfect. He was actually fifth in the free, I believe, or was it fourth or fifth in the free? And Keegan Messing actually was third in the free skate. Um, again, um, no one really skated that well for the men. Uh, Jun Won Shaw had a nice comeback. Uh, he was, let's see what the men have here. I forget what the men were. Jun Won Sha was 11th in the short, 6th in the free. So he definitely jumped a few there. That was nice to see. Uh, yeah, Keegan Messing was 3rd. He got 237. You know what, 237, I guess, considering he had that many mistakes, um, I feel... I think that was okay for him. Um, he's going to really want to beef that, up, uh, beef that up, especially for Nationals coming up, because you know what? Nam is skating well this year. Nam is going to give Keegan a run for his money for that Canadian Championship if Steven Gogolov doesn't decide to snatch that again. Uh, but he's too young to compete internationally with the seniors this year. So uh, you know what? Uh, Keegan and Nam well, and Conrad, I guess, too, both have uh, some buying time for themselves for senior competitions. It's really unfortunate that uh, Stiff and Gogolev can't compete because the Worlds are in Montreal this year and it'd be no one better to have that uh, showcase there, the young talent. Um, ice dance. Okay, so I think this is a kind of a really big deal. Chalk and Bates winning the free dance and not just winning the free dance. They, like smashed the Russians for the free dance. They, I think, beat them by four and a half points-ish. Maybe it was a four, four and a half, maybe, which is kind of a big deal in ice dance, especially when you fell to them in the short dance, in the rhythm dance. Um, they needed 129 point something to win, and they just fell just short of that. They made it really close. They made it really interesting. Big numbers, 128 for the Americans, uh, which was the season best. I don't think people understand how good that program is. For you to do that Egyptian theme the whole time and keep it in character and keep it interesting and make people wanting more is so tough. They did such a good job with that. I love their lifts. They're so original. Like from start to end in their, in their final position when she goes over his body there and he's uh, she's resting on his leg in that like half moon position oh my gosh that is so good i can't even tell you um bronze medal went to former danish now canadian pairs uh ice dancers uh forney borders and Sorensen. um i think they have a really lovely free dance um you can really tell the difference between the first and second place team and then uh, the Canadians. Uh, so they're going to be looking to add some more transitions. They're going to be looking to add a little bit of speed and a little bit more difficulty in the programs to get some marks because they have a tough competition coming into Canadian nationals. Um, as for chalk and baits, the American nationals, I think they're the ones to be favored to win the nationals this year. Um, I think they're going to have the edge over Hubble and Donahue and possibly both dances for sure. The free, uh, free dance, absolutely 100%. They're just so good this year, I can't even tell you. And honestly, you know what, Maddie and Zach are very good ice dancers, but I'm a little bit bored with them this year. I don't think they have that really solid winning program. When you watch Chalk and Bates, that is a winning program. They are that good. Um, And what else can I talk to you about? Um, I could talk to you about pairs. There's not really much in pairs that happened except for, um, hi, Sui and Han are back. Like, and wow, did they come back. They just obliterated the field. And... They, uh, what was their score? I don't even know what their score was. Um, two twenty eight point three seven first in both components of the free uh, of the pairs. They won by almost twenty nine points. That's insane. Um, second place Chinese again, Peng and Jin. Third place, Canadians, Alicia Skina and Charlie Bilodeau. Uh, they are actually, you know what? I will say I'm impressed with them. They have only been together this year, um, both with the former partners. Dylan Moskovich was with um, uh, Lubov, and Charlie was with um, um, Julian Seguin. And 
they formed a really good partnership. They've only been together not even a year, and I think they're so good already. I would really, I'm really excited to see what they're going to do. Uh, not necessarily this year. I think they're strong this year, but I think they're still finding themselves. Um, but I really am curious to see what they're going to do next year, especially, you know, coming up, uh, getting closer to the Olympics. I want to see how they're going to build onto this. And who knows? I mean, maybe they might be the Canadian team to watch for the next Olympics. We'll have to see. Um, that's kind of it for the Shaisido Cup of China 2019. Um, leave comments below. Let me hear what you think about Chalk and Bates. I want to hear your predictions for uh, the ice dancers in the United States and who's going to place what. Um, tell me about Boyang Jin. Tell me about Anna Sherbakova. Tell me about Sui and Han coming back. Um, and hit subscribe. Share this video all over the place. Get us those followers. Get us those views. We appreciate you guys so much uh, tuning in to us and, and wanting more from us. Um, and yeah, have a great night, guys. I am going to bed because I'm tired. It's like 11.30 p.m. here, and I work tomorrow morning. I got to get up at like 6.30 a.m. Uh, as usual. Uh, Jess already went to bed, so he says goodnight, too. And we will see you for the Cup of Russia. Bye.